YouTube. What's cool? What's good? What's happening? It's time for love. It's time for a review of Love After Luck, a baby. Destiny comes home. The last episode we saw her, she was raging. She'd gone to this furniture store. She wanted to buy some stuff. And the credit card got declined. Okay. And the salesperson was saying that it was actually canceled from the other end. So she's pissed. She's in a car coming back home. I don't know if that's Uber or whatever. I mean, Destiny is living the high life. She's living good. She gets right to the door, right to her house. She storms in and she's not happy with Sean. Sean's sitting on the couch and she's like, so what happened with the car, this and that? Like, why was it canceled? The thing was declined, blah, 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 blah. And Sean is like, yeah, well, I, I don't know. There should be enough money on there. I mean, it's like 3,000 on there. I mean, it, there should be enough money on there, this and that. But as, as much as he's trying to justify what might, that, you know, he didn't do anything, at the same time, he seems a little bit too relaxed about one of his own credit cards that is not working. And she went there during the day. So she's questioning him like, you had the whole day, so you didn't call the bank? And he's like, oh, his phone is jacked up. Oh, uh, he's giving all these little excuses. And she's like, you couldn't Google it? Like, he's like, he's giving so many excuses. Like, the, the whole thing doesn't make any sense. And she's like, so you're just okay with 3,000 just going poof into thin air? Like, you didn't try and call him? He's like, there's nothing I can do now. The banks are closed. So she's like, well, okay. And she's like warning him that he better not lie to her, okay? Anything she wants. I blame myself because in prison I just didn't say no. Now she expects that and more and it's kind of like... She's saying that everything that's done in the dark will come to light. You mean like the way you want to have side chicks, some girls on the side whilst you're dating Hector and he's your cash cow. That's what that looks like. Like, that's exactly what she's doing. She's also doing things in the dark. But she's angry about whatever he's doing in the dark. I think she should be focused on what she's also doing in the dark. In fact, all of them should come clean because there's no way to build a relationship. This is no good foundation for a relationship. If I find out something else later on that something else comes up, oh, it was this or this. That's I'm what. telling you. Every, no, because listen, everything in the dark comes to light. And if there is something else, I'm not dumb. Like, I'm going to figure it out one way or another. Stop lying to me. And he's like, yeah, meow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. Or whatever he said. It was such a weird thing he said. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm telling you, he's nervous. He's definitely hiding something. He's definitely lying. Yeah, I'm yeah. And he's definitely a little bit, a little bit scared of Destiny. A little bit. Yeah, I'm yeah. Then he's cruising in the car with his friend Hector. I absolutely love his friend Hector. His friend Hector is so real. Keeps it a hundred. They drive to an unknown place and the next thing Hector knows, it says jewelry. And he's like, oh my gosh, you're really doing this. Are you sure? And Hector Hector also expresses that his wife thought Destiny was wild. But yeah, and then Sean is like, well, isn't that a good thing? Opposites attract, right? And Hector is like, the songs, yes. And life, I don't know. So they go and he finds this rose gold kind of halo. Is that what they call it? Halo diamond thing. And it's like rose gold with the diamonds and it's $2,000. So how much you trying to spend? Around 2000 Damn, that's a lot of money, don't you think? And Hector is still like, he does not, he says he does not agree with any of this. Like, Hector is such a good friend. He will tell you straight up, like, I don't agree with what you're doing. I don't agree with her, but I still really think you're, you're doing the wrong thing here. I don't want you to do that. And he asked him in the middle of the store, how much have you spent on Destiny actually so far? Probably close to 50000 Really? Wow, bro. And if she doesn't go to court, then I'm on the hook for that $50,000 for the bond. <sighs> As if that's going to change Sean's mind. It's not going to change Sean's mind because he is in love. He's like, this ring is as pretty as Destiny is. Anywho. So he's saying all this. And I was like, yo, I would never be comfortable saying all my business out there like that. I don't know if guys are different, but I wouldn't be out there in the shop saying all my business like that. And the store girl, she's like standing there like Morticia. No shade. Morticia, I used to think she was like a fashion icon with a little black dress and a little look, all black everything. But anyway, she's like... That's literally what she does. It's so creepy. <laughs> because she's trying, you know, when you're in the store, whenever you're working, people just spill the beans on stuff that you're not actually supposed to be privy to. You're just like, y'all know I am here. Y'all know I can hear you, right? Okay. So anyway, she's standing there trying not to hear, but she's hearing, obviously. And then it's also like, and if she doesn't turn up to court, He's gonna have to pay another fifty thousand dollars bond, okay? And Hector's like, I think you're dumb. I really think you're dumb. Yeah. Like, oh, Hector, 
Amen. Such a good friend. He just says it like this. If you don't have friends in your life that can tell you things the way it is, maybe not really call you dumb though. But this guy is really acting dumb because you really should take your time with this woman she just got, came out of jail like one day two days you don't know how, what it's like in the real world take your time you do not need to rush this relationship but anyway so yeah and Hector even says Kelly or Kali Kelly who is the ex of Sean who by the way I just realized that they're not even married they weren't married she popped out six kids for him and Hector's like Kelly's got your six kids and she gave you kids and she didn't get a ring and then Sean is like, yeah. And he also, she also said that if you marry this chick, you're never seeing the kids again. The kids, I'm not doing anything. As long as there's boars around, that's what she calls it. And Hector's like, yo, you need to- Find this chick at church, bro. I can't believe Sean has spent that much. I didn't even know he had that much money. It's a hot mess for the simple fact that maybe they are opposites. Opposites can attract. He obviously really likes her. I don't know about the other way around. But my thing is, take it easy. These people need to pump the brakes like big, big time. Like they're moving too fast. Even people that are on the ground and have been dating each other for ages and ages and actually have been dating each other physically and have been seeing each other physically in the real world out here, not incarcerated, they take their time. And they do that and they see how the other person is, how they react to certain things, how they are at holidays, how they are when they're stressed, how they are when things aren't going their way, you know, what, how they're, what keeps them grounded, yada, yada, yada. These people have not had that time and this guy is jumping to marriage. I think it's crazy. I think it's wild. Anyway, come back tomorrow where we discuss another couple. New videos on this channel every day. We don't do only love after lockup over here. This is a lifestyle channel. We do everything up in here. Make sure you hit bump stomp as zone turn that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Are these people moving too fast? You happy now? I am happy. I think Destiny's gonna stick around with Sean for about 30 days or less and then she'll be out. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell whilst you're at it i'll see you in the next one which will be tomorrow make time for glorious life it's time to start what living right god bless mm. yeah, yeah.